ahead in Arakan State as security forces try to bring order. The homes of Muslim Rohingya were burned Sunday in retaliation for attacks on hundreds of Buddhist villagers' homes. We are burning Rohingya's houses because they live nearby and they gather at night and try to attack us. Extra troops were flown into the area as the violence fled. Seven people were killed in rioting on Friday and Saturday. It followed an attack earlier in the week on Muslims which left 10 people dead, reportedly revenge for the rape and murder of a Buddhist woman. Burma's president says those involved in the clashes are putting race and religion ahead of peace and he's warned it's putting the whole country at risk. We'd like the public to be aware that the stability and peace, the democratisation process and the development of the country which are only in transition could be severely affected and much would be lost. The violence has raised tensions surrounding Burma's tiny minority of Muslims in a country dominated by Buddhists. The stateless Rohingya are neither wanted by Burma or across the border in Bangladesh. I want the government to get better peace for the local Rakhine and other ethnicities. It won't be safe for them where there are villages of Muslims nearby. A nightly curfew has been imposed on the two townships at the centre of the violence and President Thane Sain says authorities will do whatever it takes within the law to ensure such clashes do not happen again. Bow Hill, AB